Hey folks. Hello. Hello. Coming to you today with something pretty interesting. We've got four... Uh, something a bit brand different. New, yeah, something a little different, in fact. Four brand new pedals from uh, Ryra, which is an acronym for Rock Your Repaired Amp. Um, tell us a little bit more about how you actually came to get hold of these well, pedals. I've, I'd, I'd seen the pedals around before, and uh, it was actually on the evening of our Joey Landruff clinic that we had uh, a month or so ago. Uh, I got an email or, or an Instagram message actually from uh, from Shane at Rara Pedal saying how much he loved the store when actually he just wanted to sell us some pedals. No, I'm only joking. He does love the store, and um, and to be honest, you know, I was I was a bit surprised that we'd uh, we'd never done anything with him before already. You know, because all the pedals that are in the lineup are, are, are specific examples. You know, of all the uh, I guess the pedals right, that I like. Yeah, 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 especially the uh, the clone. So, um, yeah, which is what you just heard on that little intro there. Yeah, well, we've got it on at the moment uh, with it just literally the gain, the gain's all the way off, and we've just got the output up, so we're just kind of almost giving the single coils just a little bit of a lift, won't you? Um, yeah, won't you'll you, hear the dry signal. Yeah, first. dry signal. So, this is going into the two up the Bloomfield drive. really makes the notes a lot bigger not really adding any gain or anything like that it's almost like not a, really no it's um a lot of people use that as like an always on kind of yeah well it definitely adds a bit of a little bit of extra weight to the notes mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, sounds really nice so is this modelled on any particular clon? Do you know? Is it like the gold or the silver, or just his I, own take? I think it's his, just his take, and 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 being able to make it in, you know, in in decent amount of numbers, so not where he has to use like specific, you know, vintage NOS parts or anything like that, so he can keep pumping them out. And, and this has got, I got to say, it's been my favourite clone or you know copy of a clone that I've heard so far. I know you really like the Wampler. Tumnus, don't you? The yeah, I do. I'll stuff, be interested but... to compare it, but that sounds quite authentic to me. The Tumnus adds something that's a little different, mm. um, but that seems to be more about just nailing the essence of what the clone actually yeah. is. So we're just running into the clean channel of, uh, yeah. of, of the two, right? Why don't you just pump up the gain just a smidge and yeah. just back the... Um... Will you have a play around with the sounds and we'll see what we okay. come up I'll with. leave it where it was for now and I'll bring it up while you okay. play then. <laughs> That thickens it up straight away, doesn't it? Made me feel sad then when you turned it off. I think I'll probably get the most use out of it with it. It's kind of like probably where Pretty we. Minimum yeah, sorry for the disparity there with volume. I was just trying to see what the, the sweep of gain is like because that's, some, that's a reason I really like this style of pedal, is because 
with some other uh, drive pedals you find it, it reaches a cusp and then suddenly yeah. you've got tons of gain mm. whereas with that it's just really smooth all the way up isn't it you don't I like the fact that we're not just turning the treble all the way almost off as well again a lot of those yeah. sort of pedals can be a bit savage on the high end but I all your picking nice. attack and transients and yeah. all that are all there i mean I'd, I'd, I'd probably have that as an always on mm. pedal so whack the gain right off and just just crank up the output okay. just a little bit more <laughs> That is great because it's just giving you more of what you like about yeah. your amp. <clears throat> Absolutely. So, why don't we move on to his version of the, the 808 and then perhaps we can see how that stacks with the. Uh, with yeah, the, sure, with use the, it together. Uh, uh, the climb. So. Okay. Right, so onto the 808. So, dry signal again. Yeah. Again, just when I was playing around with it earlier, I didn't find that I was trying to turn the tone all the way down either. Yeah, um, you don't need to use any extremities. Adds that the right amount of mid, it's not too too it's kind of too squawky humpy. or yeah. nice. seems to have a bit more output than most. Um, Tube Screamer. Yeah, because you've got the, yeah, the level well. gun. The level's at about, what's that, uh, one o'clock, just past one o'clock, but compared to the, the dry tone, it wasn't like a, no. uh, it didn't dip down, which some would, would do in that setting. So just crank the, uh, the drive up on it as well, Jack, let's see what it's like. I know a lot of players still like to use a Tube Screamer for their, for their full gain sound. I personally think it sounds a bit better with already pushing a, a crank temp or, yeah. or something like that, but it's got quite a nice right. musical gain to it, hasn't it, already? pretty nice it doesn't sort of kind of mush out on you like it does exactly it just does a really good job of I guess there uh, you know what, what what you want it to do mm -hmm. so why don't we just set that so it's just on the edge of break up and then we'll try this running one. the uh, okay. yeah yeah try it so it's Just adding that extra thickness to it. Still got that. Still cleans up as well. sort of Mayer-esque kind of um, Yeah, thing, it's got it? that bubbly, very thick, but very clear. Um, they work well together, don't they? Yeah. So when you go off completely, you've still got that off with everything off. Mm. 
and then you use the other pedals to get you the different levels of yeah. different stages of gain. So I'm just, just going to AB between the, the two just to give an, an idea. As, as you would always expect, a tube screamer just sounds a bit more compressed and that's a little more open. But yeah, I, I really like the, the, the clone just for zero gain and just plenty of output just to give you more of what you've got, I guess. Yeah, I agree. Nice. I agree with that. Right. We're moving to Fuzzland. Let's move into Fuzzville. <clears throat> yeah, let's start with the Fuzzomatic. Okay. Fuzzomatic's a germanium fuzz, so I'm expecting a lot of a cleanliness from the, uh, the volume control and some spitty spluttery sounds when, uh, when the volume's cranked on the guitar. So it's, yeah, and it sounds uh, very much to me like a very large round pedal might mm, do. Mm. See what it sounds like. Yeah, so right, full volume on the guitar. <laughs> Turn the volume down to eight on the guitar now. It's got it there, hasn't That's it? That's really so, good. Right, down to five on the middle pickup. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzz. Let's just crank the volume up a little bit. Yeah, should we play? Most people don't ever play with the settings on this kind of pedal. No, but you, that, you want... that, that um, volume control, I mean, it's pushing the, the front end of the amp super hard anyway, but yeah. it can add shed load more gain into it as well. So it's really thicken it up a bit more. setting it kind of just sounds like you know there's a lot of those germanium boost pedals yeah, on the market at the moment <laughs> just on the second channel of the uh, of the Bloomfield. Just flick yeah. that lead switch up there, Jake. That's it. So just a little bit of drive on the front end of the amp now. Just switch Do it off. Do you want to hear the drive? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Just a little bit of crunch there. Try that now. So it's going to be even more splattery now, I reckon. So just roll the volume down again. Really 
holds it together well though, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, even like double stops and... <laughs> And it as almost as an overdrive there eh, with that volume yeah. rolled down. Nice. It's an often overlooked tone tool, I think. Yeah, I thought it's totally. Like yeah, you know, I use that um, full tone 69 fuzz a lot, and I actually prefer yeah. probably the sound of it when it's rolled down as, a, as an overdrive probably more than, than it is a fuzz because it's probably a bit too fat for me. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Let's move on to the uh, to his uh, muff. <clears throat> so fatter still. Fatter still. I don't know, I haven't got a clue what to do with this because it's just, uh, I'm normally fuzz, overdrive and like muff type pedals are kind of, um, I guess a lot of Gilmore fans are into that sort of sound or a lot more sort of, uh, punk type sort of guys, you know, using the muff type sort of thing. But. Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing just from looking at the the picture on it, I haven't read the blurb or anything, but I'm guessing it's like based on the triangle muff, which was the one of the earlier models. So it's a little lower gain, not quite as scoopy as yeah, more of the modern Super ones. scooped, aren't we? So we dialed this in just to be kind of moderate on all the settings. Do you want to just switch it back to the clean for us? That's it. Come on. <laughs> It's kind of good for first time fuzz triers maybe that, that find like the germaniums or silicon type sort of circuits are a little <clears> bit too kind of uncontrollable because it's almost kind of like a super smoothed out or insane kind of type of distortion because the bottom end is kind of held together a bit more, isn't it? Yeah, you often hear it referred to as a distortion pedal, don't you? More, more so than a fuzz sometimes. And it can be used on a really clean amp, whereas a lot of yeah. fuzz face type pedals are, are not, not as good. <laughs> ton of mid-range yeah so you sometimes these kind of pedals get lost in the mix a bit but that and a lot, I've, not I've noticed happen, whenever yeah. I've tried big muff pedals in the past you can't turn the fuzz off basically if it's on it just sounds rubbish you know unless the fuzz is on full it's just like it, there's some sort of weird kind of gated muted type sort of sound but this seems to have a better range across the, the whole spectrum yeah let's full? crank it up a bit get it nasty <laughs> There, isn't it? It's got that. We yeah. dial that right back. Now it's getting into some pumpkins. I don't know the riff properly. I know you do. It holds the mids together really yeah. well, which is something. I'm quite picky about on that kind of pedal. Yeah, well, you can still play lead on it without it becoming completely. It's almost Carlos in a box as well. Something like that. One thing we could try, maybe, let's run it into the tube okay, screamer just to happens. tighten that up, tighten up that woolly bottom end. Jack. 
it's not working as I thought it would. But it was a good try. It's a good way to really drastically change the tone though. Exactly. It's got that, um, That's woman Tony. Yeah, it's the, under the sea. Guitar under the sea. sound really good with a strat yeah. don't they yeah absolutely so okay so um coming back to it i think uh, for me obviously uh the the clone is more kind of my 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 sort of pedal i guess yeah and and uh, i'm going to get one and i'm going to leave it on all the time put it back on that um yeah whack it on the lead again for me turn the uh, the gain down so it can crank the output up for me a bit i'll get back into a tone i know <laughs> Awesome. Really good. I really like all of them. Cool. Why don't we um, plug in a telly and get it through something uh, perhaps a slightly dirtier amp and we can see kind of how the pedals react with um, something a little bit more Brit sounding rather than the, uh, the more kind of fendery scoop mid type sort of tone. Let's give that a go. Let's do it. Cool. Right, we're back with a uh, jack and a Telecaster and a Sir Badger amp. So we're going with something a little bit more bridge pickup-y, predominantly bridge pickup-y yeah. and a bit more, bit more mids out the amp. Brit inspired kind of tone. Because it's all about classic tones, really, these pedals, isn't it? It is. So... Especially, I think this, this is going to be the winner this time again as well, the, uh, the clone. So let's give us your, uh, give us your, uh, your, your, your rhythm tone. <laughs> so, pretty crunchy. Right, let's go with uh, the same settings we had on the clone. So we're just going to... I'm going to go with kind of a unity volume level to start with. Let's try that, just see what it does. So even unboosted there, it's just, it's, I guess a smidge louder, yeah. but it just adds a little bit of thickness to it, doesn't it? But it's not, but it's not messing with the mid-range frequencies. It's almost got like a, a presence roll off, like on an amp, you know, rather than the treble, because it's not changing the response. It just changes that little bit of overall high end that just makes it a little it's bit sweet open, on. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So right. I'll play some higher notes and then you'll probably hear it more. Yeah. I'm just gonna crank the output a little bit more. Yeah. Sweet, isn't it? Just roll the volume down uh, back a little bit on the guitar. You... Yeah, it still works well. So, it's, I mean, just, just that pedal with that sort of amp, you know, you're there, aren't you, really, basically? And it kind of tightens up the bottom end as well a little bit, so if you want to be a bit more percussive, then... Off again. It makes you sad, doesn't it, when it's off? More! Cool. Love Brilliant. it. Nice. Love it. Right, so I'm going to go onto the 808 now and I'm going to basically again just use this more of a kind of a boost, I guess, with an amp like this rather than using a lot of drive from the circuit. I'm going to crank the level up keep the drive down and, and we'll start off with the tone at halfway and see how we get on with that. Okay. So drive signal again. Up, yeah, right? yeah. I mean that pedal, right? It's not, you know, we're not rewriting history or anything like that with it, but it does exactly what you want that type of pedal to do. Yeah. So I think, you know, we're all trying to always say this. We're all trying to copy, um, you know, 
these uh, the old sounds from the 60s and 70s and 80s and stuff and exactly and you it know works. yeah you know anything new doesn't work does it even though it does it doesn't well not in no. this context not in, our, not in our eyes big fat classic tone uh, this is doing it right i'm going to turn the drive almost all the way off the level up is on full and the tone down a bit more <laughs> pedals they've got they're doing like the same job but they do it slightly differently the clone and the 808 don't they so do that similar sort of stuff now i'm going to go to the uh, the clone similar i'll do a bit of switching as we go so it's the 808 massive difference under your fingers or the pick attack or anything like that um the pick attack on the clone is, is more immediate so you notice it more than as if I do that with the, the tube, you can hear it just lags behind by it. Yeah, it's just got that, I think it's just that the tube scream and mid type sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah. Which is nice to take like What's it like on the, uh, the neck pickup? Sorry. I was going to say, no, it yeah. takes the edge off a neck pickup yeah. when it's a bit shrill. bigger difference there can't you on the next pickup yeah it's definitely it's got that little bit of uh, kind of extra warmth in the mid-range 808 and it's giving you that little bit of chop on the bass isn't it as well definitely cutting it down a bit more yeah. try that again Go both now Yeah. Turn into much either. Really. No, no. I mean, is that with uh, minimum, yeah, that, minimum gain, but just yeah, that was with um, pretty much just just loads of output basically from the pedals. Yeah, it sounds really good. All right, let's go. Let's go fuzzy. Um, what do you what do you want to start with? Fuzzomatic or yeah. muff? Muffage. Yeah, fuzzomatic. Fuzz fuzzomatic. All right. Well, let's go. Uh, why don't you go a bit creamy, a bit of creamy okay. slash clappy. <laughs> Cleaning up on the guitar volume again, it just you get all that sparkle back. Yeah. I mean, a lot of fuzz is when you roll that fuzz down, it almost has like a gate behind it. You know, when you when you, unless the the fuzz is on full, the, the 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 control is on maximum, you just lose all of that response. Like there's some kind of weird noise gate, but this one's actually working really well. Try it again, Jack. <laughs> Sometimes you can't chord with those kind of pedals though, no. but you can actually you can still hear it's fuzz. You can still hear it's fuzz. I really like that pedal. I, I used to play with those that like a fuzz face type of thing a lot. Um, that's a really good one. And I think it definitely brings out the best, you know, a lot of fuzz pedals through a through a, a clean tone like what you're using there, I think, or you stack it with like a tube screamer or, or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's cool. Really like that. Let's try the muff then now, see how that works with a you know a bit more gain on the amp than what we have with the two rock. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna go everything at halfway. Let's try that. <laughs> I guess a lot of people would say, oh, you know, electroharmonics make 50 million different, like, big muff recreations and have done since time began. But this kind of has, the tone control is a lot more usable on this. It's yeah. guitar friendly, because it's, with the big muff, you know, the electro, electroharmonics 
you know, the original. It's very kind of like you have to set it in one position. Again, I think what Shane's done with these pedals, he's kind of, he's honoured the, uh, the, the original designs, but kind of fixed a lot of the shortcomings, so they're just a lot more versatile. Go for it again. It's a really nice sound in the mouth. <laughs> think of the Austin yeah. Powers film. Nice. No, that's, that's a really nice sound. It, like, I think, like I said earlier, I think it's based on like an earlier circuit of Muff, so it's mm. a little bit more mid-rangey and more friendly. More, with, yeah, guitar friendly, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit more, yeah. rather than being a kind of a full-on stoner grunge type sort of thing, or pumpkins, that, that sort of thing. I think it's uh, it's pretty, uh, a lot more wide-ranging, I guess, with that, with that tone control. Yeah. Got plenty of output on the volume to drive the front end of the amp. So um, won't we uh, won't we take it out with a little bit of a clone action again? I think it seems to be the winner, doesn't it? I was going to say put them all on together, but I think just well, one, let's just try. I think just the clone is the more sensible. <laughs> Sounds nice. Oh, that's with none on. <laughs> no, Cool. Very nice. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching these, uh, this brief rundown. I say brief, we've been going for probably ages now, but hope you enjoyed uh, listening to the, the pedals. I'd say just come and check them out, see what you think. And thanks to Shane for sending them in. And uh, we've got a little uh, giveaway coming up soon as well, which we're going to be, uh, be running on the uh, social medias, etc., etc. Et so by the time you've probably viewed this video, the competition's already done. So sorry about that. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.